folks another one of these oil paintings I, it's funny you, you look at TV and was watching a f fabulous uh, repeats on the iPlayer on the BBC iPlayer of uh, uh, Mortimer and Whitehead now Paul Whitehouse was a wonderful or is a wonderful comedian actor brilliant mimic him and his friend uh, Mortimer they, they're both uh, celebrating their lives really because they, they had major surgery on their hearts and and they go fishing. Mortimer is not a fisherman, but Paul Whitehouse is a fanatical fisherman. And, and, and the film is set in the most beautiful countryside in the UK, and I think um, further from Fulton Island. Um, but this, the, the, the river, the rivers in uh, Yorkshire and uh, Wales are just wonderful. So I'm, I'm just, just going to do a version a sort of a river scene so so we'll have a bit of uh, water in here but I want to um, put in the uh, some background some background trees and I'll add water to it so just the usual green and, and the uh, red plenty of oil and we'll just get some nice nice stuff up here Put the river, the river here, and a bit on the other side, just to balance, balance it. Okay, it's just a bit of a mess at the moment, but all right, look at some uh, Payne's grey in there. So we can get some nice darks in here. That's a bit of a I'll put a bit of a slope there. Right, okay, so we we'll just get this, this one up here. It's got a bit of it. Bit of a bank there. Right, let's sort of take some of that out now. Uh, we made a start, that's the thing. Oh God. I put a bit of uh, light in this with some sky shine through. I just blot off some of this uh, stuff here, yeah. and then we go and put a bit of sky in. I want to show quite a bit of reflection in this one. Uh, right, uh, another rough, rough old brush. And I like using uh, the blue, the Payne's grey, and the red, and, and my skies. Oh, we're kind of a bit, bit, bit of white in there. Don't want to overdo it, do we? Oh, 
right, clean the brush and go in with some light stuff. Right, I'll just put some some uh, sky back on the only thing all I have to do now is just to work out the lights in the sky here. Some good brilliant light behind these sort of trees here. So a bit of burnt sienna. I burnt I don't know what I'm talking about. A bit of light red. A bit of a bit of ochre, yellow ochre. Some more in there. Right, go back with uh, some colour now. Just let that go off a bit. Then I, I can blend it. But I want to get this. Uh, Just red and green because this is sort of silhouetted. I'm, sil well, I'm silhouetting it behind or in front of the uh, bright sky that I'm going to put behind and get some of that in there. dark in there. Right, more dark in there. So I'm using paints grey, red, blue, green. Just all mixed to get a nice rich dark in there. bit of water and everything. So a nice bit of uh, sky mix. I've uh, given this uh, paper, it's just, a, just an old watercolour that I, that I um, painted over. I, I put two, well I, I used some PVA glue I'm going to drag some reflection down there. All right, let's get a bit of a, get my soft, softish brush and just 
See if we can just start to to blend some of this. And then we can lighten. Some of this here. Get some tone. It's all texture, texture and tone. Soften around there. Put a bit of bit of a uh, bit of sky, sky there. Put a bit of a. Uh, lighter stuff in here Okay, now I'm going to going to uh, lift out some some of this. See where I'm going. It's, uh, Now, because I, I, I put a coat of gesso on this as well, over the uh, PVA glue that I primed it with, it's lifting out quite nicely and going back to the almost the white. That's the danger of this. You do one, you go and copy it. We'll, uh, so we'll. Uh, I, can, I can always go over it, there's no, no problem with that. Mm. 
now I'm still making this up now. I just used the idea of the, the TV program and now I'm on my own. I don't know what, I'm using, what I've used and what I haven't brushes. Right, we'll put a bit of shadow in there now. Please go ahead. Now I want to get some of that that cloud colour in in this now. Right, a bit of texture in here now, a bit of red. I need some, some more red. So I'll get my big tube, 200ml tube. Put that out there. And all we've got to do is a bit more, bit more impression of detail and some lifting out here and there. Not quite convinced about that. But right, let's just get a bit of a bit of blending around there.
These brushes are really, really good for, for doing this texturing. Well, I tried to show some uh, light in, in there, it's proving a bit elusive. But the, uh, it's, I would encourage you to have a go at this sort of thing. You never know what you're going to come up with. Get some darker shadow in there. Get a bit of light around there. Okay. Some, some, get there some counter change there. Oh, I'll get that bit of a blend. Right, I'll put that in a mount, we'll have a look at it, see, see what it's like. Now we'll be careful because yesterday, once again, the painting fell out, fell out of the, uh, the holder. So I'll move my paints out of the way. So there we are, there's the palette. Bit of a mess now. But, but it's only a piece of the metal line. I think that's what you call it. Some hardboard or masonite, not MDF. Uh, now I'm not still not sure what what do you call uh, MDF and I just take it out of here from here and I'll put a mount on it. But I just want to just attach it with some tape. Those corners that are dry. What what you call uh, MDF? I think it's uh, masonite, some sort of Samsonite, which apparently refers to uh, uh, suitcases, valises. Um, so, I'm none the wiser. We call the hardboard, it's, it's like a softer form of MDF, which has got a machine finished on one side, like, like a Fabriano watercolour paper. It's, uh, and it's porous. But the other side is smooth and much harder. And we use use for flooring over rough floors. Or your carpet or whatever. This has a load of uses but MDF is is the same uh, on both sides. It's it's um, very smooth, very hard 
uh, and cuts quite well. Um, uh, no, I'm just wondering how I can do this. Uh, Alright, I'll put the mount on. I might I'll change the camera angle. Just put those on there. Alright, okay, that looks a bit better. Uh, Alright, let's just go down to there. Okay, well that doesn't look too bad. It's, uh, they're lovely, lovely to do. Sometimes they come off, and some, some are better than others. Um, you can, well I haven't done that much lifting out on, on here, other than the bank. But let's just see if we can. Do that. Okay, I'm going to let that go. There's not a lot more I can do to it. I just it was just from an idea that I saw on TV of this uh, this lovely fishing program. It wasn't the, the fishing so much as the fun they had talking to each other, banter, friends banter, and the gorgeous locations. Uh, but anyway, I hope you like it. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.